To open Logic, you can use the Launchpad. In the dock, click the Launchpad icon, and you can either scroll if you don't see the software, or type in the first few letters of the software in the search bar. If you are prompted to download additional sounds, click Download Later. Logic Pro X opens after a moment, and the Project Chooser opens. If the Project Chooser does not open, close the current project, if any, and then choose New from Template. In the Project Chooser, double-click the Empty Project Template. A new empty project is created, and the New Tracks dialog opens. In the New Tracks dialog, select Audio. Under the Details label, make sure that all the checkboxes below the input and output menus are unselected and then click Create or press Return. In Logic Pro X, some advanced tools may not be available by default. Before you continue, let's make sure that you select all of the advanced tools in your preferences to enable all of Logic's features. Choose Logic Pro X, Preferences, Advanced Tools. Make sure all additional options are selected and close the Preferences window. Saving your project before you start working is always a good idea. That way you won't need to worry about saving it later. Saving your project before you start working on it is always a good idea. So choose File, Save, or press Command S. And if you're saving the project for the first time, a save dialog appears, and you'll need to provide a file name and a location on the hard drive where you want to save it. So if you wanted to save it to your desktop, press Command D, and you'll see that that now changes to desktop and on your desktop a folder will be created, in my case it will be called QWERTY and all information will be saved into it. 